Look, I'm just going out for a bit. Very good. Anyway, tonight, or tonight, we are going for a bit of flat tarn dreaming, number two. Now, there you go. Bit of new kit to um show you. Bit of old kit for me to dig out the um garage and show you as well, and give my opinion. So, this is a very strange looking day indeed, because there's actually sun in the sky. So it's a good choice of tent we're gonna have today. Okay, so here I am, slightly on, on the edge of the Marlborough Downs. I've not camped here before, so, this is going to be very interesting to, um, to see what it's like. But I've wanted to be here for a long time. So, yep, tonight's the night. In the words of um, Jean-Luc Picard, let's make it so. Catch you in a bit. Well, I think I've chosen my spot now. Right on the edge. You can sort of look behind me into the sun I'm afraid but it goes a long 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 way down there and either side I've got this parade of beech trees very nice very crunchy and underfoot so what we're going to do is choose my spot and not too big a piece of woodland but I can think I can with a, with a flex on we can camouflage it quite well and no one's going to know we're here hopefully so once you want to get a little bit dusky dark it should be fine so just over there let's take a walk Not directly under a tree, in between two. Piece of ground just here. Nice bit of silhouette behind me, lots of browns and greens, so I should blend in quite well. Oh, still out the sunlight. Shall we have a look at the tent? What have we got today then? Well, we've got a few things we're going to try out today. One is an old friend of mine, figuratively speaking. It might come under the Hochstein tent, or it might come under the Swartenberg tent. Just a simple tunnel tent, one skin, very, very, very light, you know. Um, God, the size is 210 by 90 by 90. You know, 1,300 grams. Flat tarn, of course. Um, this should go up quite nicely here. I'm not expecting rain. If I was, I've got a bit of tarp action here. It's also my poncho. If it gets silly wet, but that's not, not a problem. So but we're going to try this out. Um, well, try it out on video anyway so gonna try that also new today 
I've not got a sleeping bag. What I do have is a wooby. A wooby is what you may add. A wooby is basically just a padded quilt blanky sort of stuff. So I've got that, I've got enough stuff to keep me warm. So I should I should be fine. So that can go over there for now. Also because I'm gonna keep with a thing I'm gonna have a um, a lit fire in the woods tonight using um, my firebox sort of stuff. I'm gonna try and use this. A, a Smith's Pack Pal Tinder Maker with Fire Starter. Uh, basically, if you, if you can see there, or you can see around the back, it's like a tiny cheese grater, which you get a nice piece of wood, turn it into little tiny weeny weeny slithers, and try and set light to it. So we're going to try that, to see if it's any good, any good whatsoever. And the last new thing for tonight is a little mill mat blood mattress quite thick quite thick so that hopefully should give me more protection off the floor keep me warmer keep me so I can have a lovely night's sleep so without much further ado let's get set up and see what this little Schwarzenberg tent will look like nice spot nice spot I hope it's possible that you've seen the deers, literally a Schwarzenberg's throw away. So that, oh, things are looking quite good. Right, let's get to it, eh? That was nice. So what we've got for our money? We have got one tent plastic bottom, rectangle single skin, one carry case, tent poles, tent pegs. Tile tent, as you can see, it's essentially one large pole, one slightly smaller pole, and four tent pegs. It's easy as that. Believe you me, folks, it's as easy to put up, and it, you could move it there. Don't find like it there. I might put it over there later on. So, should we see how big it is inside? Now, bear in mind. I'm roughly six foot, so let's see if we can get a big oak like me in there. Just about. So if you're over six foot, hmm, this thing's going to move around a little bit. But saying that, wideness push comes to shove. You can put all your stuff in there. Not a problem. Not a problem. It's got mesh at the front mesh at the back so we should have plenty of circulation there so no condensation in the morning 
we pack up. Yeah, um, of course. Starts to rain. Oh, Sam, that. Oh. Not bad, is it? Not bad. What we do first of all, before I blow up the mattress and get the ruby out, I'll take a few paces backwards and see if this flat tarn's any good. Okay then. Let's get to it. Now, just there, that's where she is. What are we, 20 meters away? And the um, flat tarn's quite suitable because you've got some dead tree next to it on the right hand side. Looking good. Course I'm gonna might give it a move but um yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Good job. One about three inches maybe maybe more width sleep mat just the sort of thing you're going to see on facebook marketplace you know it's got little pops on the pop studs on the side so you can get two together and sleep side by side if you dare so wish it should fit exactly into there with a bit of a squeeze you can pump it up with about a thousand kicks of the, um, the valve or you can blow it with, with your mouth because you're just going to end up more exhausted than you would then blow it with, with your mouth it comes with a pillow as well so it doesn't look very dynamic so we'll just have to see how that works now eh? okay now get the wooby in, in it and um, we're good to go sleep wise this is my wooby there are many like it, but this is mine. All I'm going to do tonight, if you can, keep yourself nice and warm, if you do so wish, or I'm going to double it up on the old blow up mattress, which is inside the tent snug as a bug and um i should be fine i should be fine so all looking good right now time for a little bit of food obviously thinking about getting something warm inside of me so we'll do some preparation some twigs and some sort of stuff and maybe have a look at this old um tinder maker all right catch me in a bit So let's break out the um, Smith's pack pal. Immediately, it's not the easy one to get into. There's no opening stuff at all. knife out. So what you get? You get a little cheese grater a 
which apparently you can put your striker in there. I'll be very dubious of how that works. Apparently that can go in there somewhere. So the build quality is really fantastic. I don't really want to cut my... Oh, there you go. There you go. Now what we should do, we get ourselves a little old stick and grind it and see if it can work. There you go, straight off the floor. making short work of that. Well that's barely a minute. Now if we only get it open. Oh, look at that. You see that? Huh. We'll give that a go. I'll get, I'll get some more. And um, break out the fire in a minute. Oh, quite impressed. Ah, oh, didn't think of that. Right, we'll just carry on for a bit and um, well, get ready for some evening meal malarkey. Right, mmm, mmm, right, carry on. So dusk is upon us in the woods now, hence the reason for the light. So what we're going to have, we're going to have some meatballs, you can see that. Topped off with just some noodles and breaking down my wash set. It comes with a handy cup. That's all set. I'm not using that tonight. We'll use something else instead. As you saw my last um, Black Time Dreaming video, so we'll do that all over again. So I think we're nearly ready to go now, so bear with me, I'll see if we can set this all up and see if my um it gone? my little box of tinder will actually work. So good good good. Right. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. Let's see. This is going to work. I've got also some birch bark if needed. Just get it going. And where's it gone? And some pads if, if need be. So remember this. I might be a bit skeptical about it.
don't seem to be want to be working. Okay, should we try bigger? And I think we're off. Yeah. Who needs matches? Now, proper dark in the woods now. Just the odd moving cow, the odd owl, no traffic at all. It's lovely. Right, while my noodles and the meatballs cool down a little bit, because they are boiling hot, a small toast to you all. Mm. Tonight's beverage choice is apple schnapps. Very nice indeed. Thank you. Okay, and um, I think a small mention to, to Kirk. You know who you are, you watch whatever it is, and thank you very much for sending me a message the, the other day. Much, much, much appreciated. Um, I hope you're going out, doing what you do, experimenting and trying things out, as all you should be. Okay, I am now going to sing this to you, Kurt. Oh, get in my pit. A little bit of radio, a little bit of reading. Maybe surf the web for just a minute or so. And I'll see you in the morning, hopefully. So, it's to you all. Good night, folks. This will be interesting to see if this comes out. A little bit of rain, so I've snugged in for a little bit of time. But sunrise on the inside of the tent. I can't really see too well, but it's, it's pretty covered in condensation. Nothing on the floor, but hey, we'll we get some sunlight in here. to getting something to drink for the morning. How was my night, you may ask? The, um, yeah, lovely and warm. Lovely and warm, um, comfortable, and I slept 
all the way through through till dawn. It's nearly six o'clock now, so all good. All good. The ruby was, was fine, it was brilliant, you know, I wasn't cold at all. As I can say, top marks for the um air mat. Look mattress. Brilliant indeed. Brilliant. I'm very impressed with it. Very impressed. Good. Oh uh, well, nothing really. Um, I said it had a bit of rain, but, uh, but it was just very light. The winds were very um, prominent, but I think that's just because we're on top of a ridge here, and it will—that's what will happen. You know, it's, it's beech trees, so they, they, they hold all the. Hold all the sound as the wind is rushing through. Right, I think I ponder a little bit, put some shoes on, and get ready. Now the tent itself. You know, you know what would be really nice if they had to design this? They could put some sort of awning going all the way all the way over as part of the tent so you can get in and out. So forth. But hey. All good. All good. Right, time to get out really because I've been a lazy sod today. Right. Morning. The golden hour is upon us and everything looks lovely. It's a little bit nippy on the fingers, but I'm going to see all the out because I'm going to. Um, Show you a tiny tiny <laughs> stove. There it is. By Fox Outdoors, available by a military mart, I do believe. And this, um, powered by Hexman blocks, which I've got a few. And I just want a cup of coffee and perhaps a little bit of um, Chinese breakfast sort of stuff. This is how it comes. Little tiny plate. It folds out. So you've got, you've got your windbreak. Ooh, you do. That goes in the slots provided and there it is Discretion is the better part of value. Value? Valor. And I've got two Esbit in there. That'll go on top. And um, while I get my stuff together, it's going to boil me something. Because. I feel in the mood for a bit of product. Now I'm not going to cue the music from train spotting, you know, but we all like a sometimes like a, like a little bit of brown in the morning to get us going. And it's not as seedy as you might think. Come on, come on. It's me here, as about as Dullsville as Dullsville can get, but this stuff. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. Right, it's in a bit. I'm about to light this up. Some people might say, just say no, but this is actual bovril. 
I got some cups off um, eBay, siphoned off the contents, put them into the pouches like this. So I can have a lovely beefy drink in the morning. Superb. So, let's have a run around before I all pack up. The tent by MFH Swatchenberg. It's a tent. It's flecked arm. It's very easy to put up, very light to carry. You're not going to go trekking hardcore with it. It's a basic tent. Oh, like I say, does exactly what it says on the tin. It keeps the bugs and crawl, it's creepy crawls away from me at night. It gave me warmth because opening up the zip it was a bit peaky this morning. So it gets my vote. Not fantastic. It's good. It's good. The Wooby that I'm sat on. Yep. Yep. It's a bit big. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. But um. I wrap it around me at night on, to on top of the equally good um, Blurt mattress. Great. Right. The um, Smith's Pack Pal, the little greater thing. See, that's the first time I've used it. That's the first time I've ever set fire to shavings or something like that. First time I even attempted it. It worked. It worked. And finally the um, little fox cooker. It's okay. Right. Hey. It, it did this thing. I might get myself some um, Chinese congee in a minute when I'm all packed up. But all in all, it's been a good night. It's good to get out again. It really is. You know, and yeah, I went to sleep exceptionally fast last night. Hardly looked at any. No, didn't did bother to read. Can bother to use the phone. Just listen to the radio. Mm. Good night all round. So. I hope you've enjoyed watching a weird person in the woods try out a lot of new stuff. I hope it inspires you to do the same. So, go on, give it a go. What have we got to lose? Right, on this one, folks. Just going out for a bit, signing off for now. And, um, cheers. Take care, all.